guys, and good morning or good afternoon, depending on when this uh, little video finds you. Um, so I wanted to share with you um, the product that we use here uh, called uBlock Origin. Um, uBlock is actually um, one of the safest uh, browsing tools that, that we can think of um, around. And the reason why we use this is uh, uBlock Origin uh, does a very good job at blocking advertising networks which is often one of the key ways that Trojans and malware uh, sneak into browsing sessions, right? Um, most, most of that compromises come from email. Uh, that's the most common. The second most common way is through browsing a bad website. And one of the things that uBlock Origin is actually very good at is sort of blocking this content and preventing it. Um, and as you can see, uh, it blocks a lot of stuff. Uh, but it's not perfect. Sometimes it'll block legitimate websites or you need to see some content. And so what we're gonna do in this video is basically show you how to simply log into a site and then turn it on or off. So we're gonna go here to uh, Sienna. It's a pretty, well, so, uh, you know, uh, probably not a <laughs> good example, but I picked this site for a reason. So first thing I'm gonna show you here is you'll see that this has blocked 42 items on this page. It's blocked, uh, three out of the 29 it's connected only three out of the 29 domains that have connected um and it's it's done some secure things so what happens or generally tends to happen in these situations is you load a web page that let web page loads a script that script calls a subscript and then continues down the line calling different third-party data processors right and somewhere somehow you get tagged from one of these third party data processors and then the information tracks you and follows you around um as you go from uh, site to site or database to database or, or, uh, or you know, website to website. So um, right now, you know, let's let's just pretend that we really did want to know what happened here or, uh, you know, we really want to see what happened on this particular page. It's simply as easy as hitting this power button and then hitting the re refresh page. And now you'll see um, the advertisements, right? Um, wait here, obviously it takes a little bit longer to load. That's it. You'll notice that now the site is grayed out. We have some advertisements and I actually have 152 out of 152 domains that connected and 0% of the content was blocked. Okay. I'm going to turn it back on again. I'm going to refresh and you'll see how much quicker that made the browsing as well. So let's go to another website. Let's go to Yahoo. Um, yeah, it's a great example. Um, look here and three out of 13 domains. We're going to turn this off. And we're going to refresh. All right. And now you'll see that 32 out of 32 domains connected. We get this free online quote. We have the advertisement. We got the dining. And it's back on again. We'll refresh. There you go. Um, and last but not least, we'll do uh, XABC, which is a local Philadelphia web page. Um, nice and clean. Uh, no advertisement. Everything is pretty good. And uh, let's turn off our new block. And you can see advertisements all load, uh, Nextiva, Nextiva. Um, and you'll see that some of these devices down here loaded as well. All right, so hopefully that's useful. Um, you can potentially see the uh, options for this. There are some other options in here. Um, you can block pop-ups specifically. Um, you can block large media elements, which is streaming video, which I often find useful. Um, you can disable cosmetic filtering. Um, I, I use this very rarely. I won't go into that in too much detail. Um, and then you can also block remote fonts uh, if there's a particular font that you'd like to use. And last but not least, you can turn off JavaScript. Um, this is sort of like a nuclear option if you're trying to get a particular site done. Um, and it's literally simply as clicking these things and then hitting the refresh button here. Um, and that's it. All right. So thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day.